Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Trenton's Tech. And today, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give you guys my thoughts of the Vision Pro through my eyes as I'm watching the Vision Pro. So right now, you can see my iPhone. It's focused on me, but I'm actually gonna use this and kind of demo this for you guys a little bit and give my thoughts on how I'm seeing everything and how everything looks and whatnot. So let's go ahead and just turn this off here. So I already took a picture of myself, but right now I'm sitting in my chair. So this is my chair. Here's my setup. Things are a little bit messy, but hey, this is real world. I don't have like the perfect setup or whatnot. So we're in the Vision Pro. As you guys can see, you can see my hands. You can see the basement that I'm in. And you can see everything else. Now, one of the first things I do is I bring up the apps here and this is how I basically kind of use this stuff. So right now I'm in the environment. So if I wanted to pick Yosemite, I can look at it with my eye. So as you guys see, these different things are lighting up. It's because I'm moving my eyes around and looking at them. What I do from here is I just click my fingers together and I can do this with my fingers up or my fingers down. And right now I'm in a partial immersion. So as I dial it down by using the digital crown at the top, you can see it slowly start to come in little by little. And pretty much it starts off at the beginning of you. Now, if we go full immersion, you start to hear the noise in the background of the environment that you're in. So basically I can just go look all the way around, turn all the way around. Now, right now I'm in my chair, so I can literally just turn around and look and do whatever I want to without having to move. If I wanted to get up and look around, I would just switch this back to the AR mode that disappears and then there we are. So let's go ahead and play around with some stuff. So the first thing, and I just want to tell you guys, this, this is all recorded on the Vision Pro. This has also been edited on the Vision Pro and this has been uploaded to YouTube on the Vision Pro. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm only using the Vision Pro with my content creation right now. So that was one of the things I wanted to show off is, you know, because everybody's like, well, it's an accessory, it's this and it's that. And I'm like, well, let's see how far we can go with it before we start throwing stuff out there. So let's go into the apps and let's say I want to open up Safari. So right here, I was messing around with like some screen recording and some stuff. So let's go ahead and take this so I can take my hand out and I can grab this and I can move this around and I can put this wherever I want to put it. If I want to put it up, I can put it up. If I want to put it over here, I can put it over here. And as you guys can see, there's still like a transparency going on through there as you're moving stuff around. But then when you let go, it's just like looking at a regular screen. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before, but if you go over to the corner and look there with your eyes, you can grab and pinch and you can resize this in different ways. You can make this more narrow. You can make this more wide. You can make this longer and do different things just like that. So as you see here, it can get pretty big. Now, if we go back to this middle line down here, I can bring this closer to get up on it. And if I still want to get closer, I can lean forward slowly and get closer and closer and closer to the screen. And I still can pretty much read this. I can get all the way up on it. And it's like, you know, maybe I want to say that's about maybe about eight or nine inches before it starts to, you know, disappear a little bit but it's probably even closer because of the distance between the lens and what's on the screen here. But yes, as I start to do this here and I put some stuff up on screen, let's go ahead and let's open up another app. Now I got some different stuff on here, but I do have the NBA and the league pass. So what I can do is now I can bring this over here. And if I wanted to, I could turn my head and look at stuff here. Let's let's just go back a little bit. 
let's go on here and then now I have an entire separate window I'm just gonna turn the volume down so I don't really run into any issues on YouTube and so now I can have a screen here with what's going on here I can have another screen here with whatever I'm looking up on the internet through Safari then I still have the app over here now you can take this a little bit further you can go fully immersed and completely just focus on the things that you have going on here and the cool thing about this is as I'm sitting in this chair I can either just turn my head or I can rotate now one of the cool things I like about this is the fact that normally if you have a mouse you usually control the mouse with your hand and it's just one hand as opposed to inside the Vision Pro when you're inside this space or when you're doing AR you can use either hand so I can either look over here and I can grab this and I can move this around by using my left arm and my left hand I can turn back to the right and then I can use my right hand and I can move things around and go in and out I can push things up and set it all the way up there or I could take things and put it down below and as you guys can see there's like a little bit of a shadow on the background but this makes the accessibility just a little bit easier for me and of course these are things you're gonna have to kind of get used to over time it actually took me a couple of tries to kind of figure this out because I just got this thing on Friday and here I am on Saturday recording this and showing this off to you guys but yeah if I wanted to I could sit back in my chair I could just look up and just check out the game and check out the replay or I could check out other things here so what about YouTube let's go ahead let's go ahead and go to YouTube so we go to YouTube and here we are now YouTube is not going to play on here while I'm screen recording because Apple really doesn't you know like that <laughs> so uh, you would only see like a blank, blank screen but you would still hear it you just wouldn't you know see everything so Marquez has a video let's go ahead and click on that video and it may be blacked out on your end but on my end I can kind of see everything so I can go through here as you can see, I'm using my fingers and I can easily skim. I can be very precise with how I'm going about this. If I wanted to scroll up, I could easily scroll up. If I wanted to look outside, I can look inside there. If I want to check my notifications. If I want to um, switch this from 4K, and go from 4K to 1440p to 1080p. So. I have a couple of different options. Once again, something I can move up, and I can go far away, or I can just take this, and I can resize it. I can even take it, and I can bring it all the way up, right in front of me, and I can do kind of like, like a command center layout of everything. So I can have all my stuff down here, grab this, And now I could just turn around and just do it like this. Uh, I was also trying this out with FaceTime. And one of the things I think you could probably use like for an educational thing is you could have a FaceTime call. And let's say someone's on FaceTime, you can actually share your screen and they can see what you are looking at on the screen here. So this could be something where I'm showing somebody online or instructions or a tutorial or anything like that and they could be asking me questions and this is something that I can you know, also you know screen record and then send it back to them later now the only thing I'm trying to figure out is that if they're on the phone call with me how to record the audio while doing it as well but I could always just take my iPhone and just have it recording in the background and sync the, sync the clips later now how am I going to edit this, right? If I'm screen recording this and doing all this, how, how am I going to edit this? So let's go back here and I go to my applications. Under compatible apps, I downloaded uh, LumaFusion because I had purchased LumaFusion before. If I 
go ahead and I open up Luma Fusion. Let me go ahead and put that up there. And as you guys can see, I already have some clips that I was messing around with. Right now, I got like, like I said, I got like a whole thing here. And if I'm going to go up here, as I as I'm looking at the icons here, I can then look and grab, and I can easily go through Luma Fusion and edit videos and start putting stuff together. I can start cutting clips. I can start grabbing clips and dragging them over. And I can just go through here and put stuff together. And I've already done this already. I can even go and I can, um, I can export this as a video. I can go to photos, I can go to YouTube. I can select how I want to export it what the resolution I want it to be is I can go down here and this is within the, this is within the app and I can do h.265 h.264 so I know this is getting like a little nerdy or a little extra but I just really want to show all the different things that you can do with this and mind you I'm using the speakers that are built into the Vision Pro to hear everything I'm using the microphone that's built into the Vision Pro, and the Vision Pro is basically my display. And then I can just see my hands within the space, and I can just work through here. And so far, I'm not even sure how many apps you can even open yet because I'm still going through here, but this is just something that is just, I've just been trying this out and seeing what I like to do with this timers so I can do some timers I can go ahead and open up another app uh, I can go into Canva and get that going so I got to sign into Canva but I'll be using Canva to make a thumbnail for this and I have this whole setup here this whole thing now obviously one of the drawbacks is going to be the battery life because it only lasts uh, up to two and a half hours but if you're gonna be sitting down, if you're gonna be at a desk, this is something that you can plug in and you'll be fine. One of the ways um, that kind of helps me out, I guess, with like fatigue or wearing this too long is I just take breaks. And I know some people are gonna say, well, you can't use it all day. It's not this, it's not that. Honestly, I, can, I can't look at a computer monitor for eight hours straight. I will go to work, I will use my computer monitor, and I will take a break. Like every hour and a half or so, just to look out of a window or get a different scene, or even here, I can just come out of here from fully immersed and start looking around somewhere else. You know, if I want to get up and move around, I still can, as long as I have the battery on me. But this is, this is what I'm doing with this. And, um, so far, it's I like it. Like I don't have any issues with this whatsoever. It's it's just getting used to this stuff. Um, now another drawback is you don't have like the uh, the fence type of deal where you can set an area like you can with a Meta Quest. So if you go into this VR mode, remember if you're in VR, the Apple Vision Pro is not going to give you a warning saying, "Hey, you're about to go run into something." Now, it will give you a warning anytime that you have a low light situation. It'll say, you know, you might need to get to some brighter light. Right now, I just have my, uh, you know, my basement lights on up here, so I got enough light there. But if you try and walk around in the dark, it absolutely, you won't be able to use it much because it won't be able to see your hands. So pretty much this whole thing is relying off of your eyes in your hands so now if you just want to close things you just have to look at the dot at the bottom and once it lights up you can close it that way come down here and close some stuff come down here and here and I can take my timer and I can put it over there to get out of here and let's say if we want to change the environment because you know you know what Maybe you don't like the snow. So let's go 
Let's change our environment. We're going to click the digital crown. Let's go to. Actually, let's go over here. There we go. Let's go to environments. Let's switch this to Mount Hood. So now, as you can see, we're looking around. You can see the ground. You see the trees. You can even see the reflections in the water. Like, honestly, this is just something that is just, it's a nice, quiet, serene type of deal. Um, you can put your AirPods in and really zone out, you know, like if you need some time just away from stuff. And honestly, this is just really peaceful. You know, let's say you're stressed out or you had a long day at work or whatever. You just want to call, come down and chill. You can have your timer going here. Hey, you know what? I just want to just chill out for 10 minutes and just hang out there. You can look at stuff, let your mind wander. You can think about stuff, but you can do this all within here. Now, yes, you can say this might isolate you from some people, but sometimes you may need some isolation in your life. Sometimes you can't just get up and hop in the car and go straight to the park. So this is like a very nice substitute if you really need it to just laser focus on something and kind of cut out a bunch of like, you know, little distractions or whatnot. So if I take this, that icon up there, I can switch it just by clicking. Now, one of the, my bad habits is, is I like to just raise my hands up and do it, but you can literally have your hands down and just move and manipulate stuff. And I'll be honest, it it has like that Apple kind of magical feel to it. It's not magic, but how fluid it is sometimes, it kind of feels like it's magic to a, a certain degree. Now, coming back to the apps here, let me move this out the way so we can see. Coming back to our apps. Now you have vision pro apps so these are all apps that are in the vision pro uh, app store then you have compatible apps these are all apps that are either ios or ipad based so as you can see like i got discord i got duolingo i got luma fusion i even got uh, amazon prime but those are the ios you know, based uh, iOS slash iPad OS based apps. And if we get out of here, these are once again, the Vision Pro ones. So how do you get your apps? You go into the app store, you bring this up. And as you start to search for apps, uh, let's see if we can find what's a good app. Or let's do Let's do ABC and see what comes up. So as you can see, we only have two apps that are coming up in the Apple Vision Pro apps because there's not that many Apple Vision Pro dedicated apps. And if we look up here and we go to iPhone and iPad, you can see what all is coming up. So we got CBS, we got Adventure Academy, we got ABC Phonics, NBC, we got ESPN. And so you can kind of just go through there and see what's what it looks like. They're adding more apps, you know, over time, as far as the vision pro is concerned. And you just got like just different little stuff in here. So here's one thing I downloaded. Um, it's a DJ app. So let's go ahead and open that up and let's try that out. So let me get out of here and Let's just mess around with this. All right, so this is gonna be $29.99 a year if you wanna use it. Um, okay. I can move my fader here, here, here. You got different FX different controls. I don't have Apple Music, so I really can't show it off. But once again, like I said, you're jumping in here and you can mess with all these apps. It's once again, if you had two dual monitors, you would have to drag the mouse 
all the way over here. Instead, you got your controls basically with your hands. Now, um, you you really can't do like this where you do like your middle finger or your ring finger or your pinky. You got to use the first two fingers right here. I haven't really gone all the way into the accessibility mode. That'll probably be another video, but this is just basically just to show you like, hey, this is how this stuff is looking. And here's our Apple TV here. As we look at that, um, I also have HBO Max. So honestly, I've been living pretty good without Netflix, but I can go through the browser and pull that up if I wanted to. And this is just me just going through here, opening up different apps, trying out different stuff. So we got Max right there. And sure, things can get a little messy as far as how you want to arrange things. But as you learn how to do this, as you start to mess with it more, it gets a little bit easier. So I do like the fact that this is a like a flat plane instead of it being curved. I know some people prefer curves or whatnot, but this is cool with me. And I'm going to come down here. Let's go. Like I was watching uh, Mortal Kombat earlier. And we got immersive environments. I don't know if this is showing up right now, but this should load up. Now it's going to give me a warning about the, you know, immersive environments. I'll click on that. And now I am in a completely immersive environment, but you can't see it because, <laughs> oh, wait, there it is. You can't see the movie because, you know, HBO Max. But look, look at this. Like, if you look around, you're seeing like these giant statues over here. You can see I have this window here. And it's like you're in this like Mortal Kombat movie theater. You got stuff back. You got flames going on back there. So, yeah. It'd be funny if all this stuff wasn't showing. But, uh, yeah. You got the different immersive environments. I think it was actually for Game of Thrones. So there you go. Still got our timer going. Uh, I'm going to close out of this before I get a copyright strike. And that is really about it so far. That's as far as I've gotten into this whole thing. And I want to show people more stuff. Like I've already done some FaceTime calls and I've said, hey, this is what you can do with the Vision Pro. You can do this, or you can try this out, or this is how it looks. And so far, the reception has actually been pretty well. And, you know, like a lot of people are doing like the videos where they are recording themselves and they're doing the immersive environment. I just wanted to do this one inside of the environment so you could... 100% see it from my point of view and see how a lot of this stuff looks. Definitely going to try out teams. Actually, I'm going to mess with this sky guide here for a little bit. Um, choose a time and scene for immersive stargazing. Well, you know what? I'm a U.S. veteran. I used to be in the Navy, so let's go with the ocean. All right, we're getting another warning here. So one thing you can do is you can get a warning every time or you can hit don't show again. I'm going to go don't show again. Excuse me. All right, so here we are. We got our ocean down here. As I'm looking up, we can see the different constellations in the sky. And this is something that, you know, could be peaceful or you it could be an educational thing as you kind of look around and see these different things and now you can grab these little AR objects and now you have information that you can learn about these and so you can pinch and you can move up you can read this stuff and honestly this is cool like you know I could twist this around let me see if I can do it this way there we go look at that move my head around I can get closer 
and get a little further away, twist it around, mess with it, you can let it go. We can grab this from up here, figure out who this guy is. It takes a little getting it takes a little getting used to, but ultimately, if you practice long enough, you can kind of figure it out and see how things go. So yeah, this is a uh, Cassipia, if I'm saying it right. <laughs> I don't know, I might be messing it up, but yeah, like I said, just the educational part. Uh, let's go into the let's go into the AR stuff. Now this is an app that I downloaded. I saw in the app store. I think it's called Luna. I started messing around with this earlier. You do have to pay for this if you go into any of this other stuff here. But one of the things that I messed around with is with the AR part and it's a puzzle. So let's click here and let's just go ahead and restart it. All right. So this is going to be all in AR. It's not going to be immersive, but you're going to, you're going to see this AR puzzle. And I'm going to start doing this AR puzzle and moving stuff around and this is going to like blow your mind. At least it blew my mind. So right here, we have like a whole dragon shrine here. We can spin this around. And this is very, very smooth. I might have to export this video at like 60 frames per second so you guys can really see how smooth this is. So let's go ahead and move my phone out the way. And we got some pieces over here. So let's figure out what our first piece is. So let's go. We got a big piece right here. We can put it up. I can reach up, let it go, and grab one of these pillars. I can put a pillar up here. Let that go. Oh, no, I guess it's not the right one. So let's try it right here. And as you're doing this puzzle, you know, just nice, different, interactive stuff that you can do with this. I can feel somebody, you know, saying, hey, MetaQuest, that's cool. If you want to use a MetaQuest, use a MetaQuest. But I'm just showing what you can do with the Vision Pro and just some of the apps that we have here. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what, I did this earlier and it was pretty fun. It was kind of different, you know. I enjoyed doing this and just putting it all together as one big puzzle. And as we add everything over here, just doing this, I can grab it with my other arm, put the stuff here. Now it may not always be spot on, but you can just slowly guide it here and have some fun. If they have like a painting app or something, that'd be dope. And now as you can see, Here's another part of the puzzle. So now we got to figure out something else. So let's go for the top part of the dragon head here. And I can grab this and I can look at this up close. I can see the details around it and move it around. All right. So I need you to go up there. Just chill out up there. Come around. Let's see, that's the back of his tail. So let's go through here. All right, come here, come here. There we go. Let's put it right there. And as you can see, this dragon slowly coming together. So yeah, this, this is part of some of the stuff that I'm doing with this. Um, I'm gonna have more videos coming out on other things that you can do with the Vision Pro but this is like just a good intro to just different stuff. Um, this is some of the stuff I haven't seen other people do. So hopefully this uh, helps out for people who are looking, you know, different for different content of what you can do. And it's, you know, just not like the same old video over and over again. But I would like to ask that, you know, if you guys are interested in this stuff and you, you want to see me cover a lot more on it, just go ahead and subscri subscribe to the channel. 
And this puzzle, it just keeps on. I might actually buy this thing. Because this is fun. This is fun. Look, look at that. I'm doing it this with this hand. And I'm moving and manipulating this with the other hand. As we just find out where, where are we going to put these frogs at? There we go. Let's grab another one over here. And this is just peaceful. This is just calming. I'd I'd like to do this after a you know stressful day at work, or just something just to calm the mind, take it easy. There is a Get that. Could you try again? Uh, no, thank you, Siri. <laughs> but um, there are just different things that you can do with this, and like I said, if you use it right. If you figure out different things, I can see the, the benefit in this. And hopefully later on, Apple does come out with a uh, cheaper model that could be more affordable. But for right now, I'm just having a blast. Having a blast, enjoying my time, figuring this stuff out. And as we go through this puzzle, you just have to figure out where this stuff goes. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pause that there. So let's grab this. Let's put you over there. And here's the other cool thing. So I can stand up out of my chair and let's go past my treadmill. I can walk around and I can look at this in a 3D space. I don't know if that's the the right terminology or whatnot, but I can go all the way around this and look at this thing. Now there's another app I downloaded where it's, it's supposed to be more immersive where I can look at stuff. I'm actually gonna mess with that one a little bit. So let's go to our apps and here we go. We got Jig Space. So welcome to Jig Space. We got a jet engine right here. Let's go to start and let's just hit allow. So right now this is loading up. Look where you want to place your jig. Let's go right there. All right, here's something I know because we used to look at this stuff in the uh, US Navy or whatnot. So right now we're looking on the inside of a jet engine. Actually, let's go back because what I want to do is I want to put this up a little bit higher. That way we can kind of see this a little easier. All right, let's go here. Let's move this up here. So I want this to go right here. Okay. And so this is telling us, you know, if I want to resize this, if I want to move it, if I want to spin it around and we can see this and we can, wow, we can blow this all the way up. Let's go through here. We can pick out objects and we can bring this out. So I can tell you guys some of this stuff right here. So right now there's the uh, compressor fan. You're watching the air come into the jet engine. And this is the outer casing. Then you got the turbine section where you have like all of the combustion and the fuel mixture go through. Then it's coming out of the exhaust that goes out of the back of the engine. But this is something that you use for teaching, you know? And that's honestly been the biggest thing for me has been the educational aspect. Now, you can probably go a little bit further into this once they, I guess, update this a little bit more. So let's go here, let's put it back down. Let's move this up and look at this. So this is the outside panel. These are the outside panels that you would normally see and this is something that you use, like I said, to teach, to educate, just to learn about stuff. This is the inside right here. 
put myself all the way into the jet engine. Jesus, never been this close inside of one. Seen the outside, but it's a little jittery. But as you kind of mess with it, you know, it's not so bad. You come around, you can look up the back of it and look in and you can see the turbine fans at the very end. You see the exhaust nozzle here. So, yeah, this is just different stuff that, you know, I kind of like this stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close that out because pretty much I'm going to kind of start to wrap the video up here. But I just want to show you guys at least some of the stuff that I was messing around with. And here's the keynote stuff here. Um... I wanted to see if you could go into a certain environment like the Apple stage. So, all right, basic presentation. Let's load that up. Let's see what we can do with it. And once again, this is something. I'm, oh, there we go. So we can go to a conference room or we can go into the Steve Jobs Theater. So never been there. So let's go to the Steve Jobs Theater. As we load that up. All right, here we are. Apple Park. <laughs> you got your exits out there. You got all your lights. You got all your seats in the rows out there. Where you will want to start your presentation. Carpeted floor, looking around. If you look up at the back. Let's say if we were to, you know, start our slides and go from here. And this is this could be a way for somebody to practice being on stage or let's say you have anxiety and you just want to practice somewhere, right? You don't want to go to an actual theater. You just want to practice remotely. You could do this here and it's simulated. And that's a cool thing about this that I don't think a lot of people are thinking about. I think a lot of people are just looking at this thing like, oh, well, Apple, you're not doing anything new. Oh, Apple, ha ha, you spent this much money. But if you really start to use this stuff and you really just, I guess, look into this thing and say, hey, what can you do with it? How further, how much further can you go with it? It's just it's awesome. Like I can put this anywhere. I can throw this around back here. We can go up here, down here. It can be like here. Just it's crazy. It's crazy. I've been messing with it. I've been enjoying it. It's been a wild ride. So, um, yeah, going to go ahead and end the video there. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Definitely going to be uploading more videos and trying to show off just, like I said, different things that you can do with this. So, all right, y'all. Take it easy. See you in the next video. Peace.